Singapore Airlines have been voted the best airline in the world, but how good actually are they? Well today, I'm going to be trying them out. Right, let's go and get the bags together and head to the airport. So the flights I'm going to be getting today, I'm going from Perth to London. And the first one is Perth to Singapore, and then the second one, Singapore to London. So I've actually got some quite nice flight times. I leave at 5 p.m. Perth time and land at 6 a.m. London time. So hopefully, if I get a bit of sleep on the second flight, then I should be sweet and hopefully avoid jet lag. A little business first check-in, don't mind if I do. How are you today? I'm okay, thanks, how are you? Good. How much is a uh, upgrade looking like on the flight? Oh, you're already on business class. Yeah, yeah. Can you upgrade again or is it? No, that's... that's oh, is that, yeah, oh, that's I, that. I, I didn't know if there was like a first class or something. Oh, yeah, so. no, we don't have. We just have business and economy. Oh, okay, fair. Is there like a lounge or something to go yeah, into so after? Yeah, we are good 52 and the lounge is opposite gate 52. Thank very much. Thank you so much. Enjoy your flight today. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Right, let's go and find this lounge. Well, I didn't have to walk very far. It's literally right here. So as soon as you come through security, here she is. Okay, thanks so much. Welcome to Singapore Airlines Silver Chris Lounge. Now this place is a haven of luxury with an incredible selection of food and drinks and loads of comfortable seating, all equipped with power outlets. The staff here are so warm and friendly, which adds to the overall experience. My top pick, the beef rendang. It was absolutely amazing. Although maybe a touch too spicy for me, my mouth was on fire. It looks all very nice. Did you make this? Yeah? Yeah, very nice. That's me. Okay, thank you. This is it, the first leg of the journey going from Perth to Singapore and just got on the plane, been greeted by a lovely air hostess walking me through the food and the drinks available. So looking forward to a bit of dinner on the flight and got a hot towel and yeah, seat so far. Give you a full run through later of what's actually going on in this area, but Pretty comfy, looking forward to it. Wow, what an unreal feeling. Kicking my feet up for takeoff, feeling so relaxed. And what more could you ask for? There's some sunset views on your way. We kick things off with champagne and a delicious Singapore chicken satay canapé, topped with onions, cucumbers, and a spicy peanut sauce. It was so tasty, and having a starter on an aeroplane was just mind blowing. Next up was the appetizer, a prawn salad with cucumber and mango salsa. It was decent, but the real treat was using real cutlery on a plane. For the main course, we had braised beef cheek with crushed parsnips, carrot batons, and broccolini, paired with a Singapore sling cocktail. It was so delicious that even though I was stuffed, I couldn't stop eating. I actually come to the bathroom for a bit of light because they've dimmed all the lights in the cabin, so you can't actually see me when I'm trying to talk to you. But the food was unbelievable, it was so nice. I'm proper full right now. But here is the bathroom. It feels pretty similar to economy, to be honest. Probably like a little bit bigger. I mean, you've got some, you know, like aftershave and a little face mist and some hand lotion there. You've got some towels here, which are pretty nice and yeah, apart from that, just your standard toilet. I guess you've got a little flower here. It's a pretty nice addition, really. But yeah, I mean, pretty clean as well. So yeah, what more do you want, really? Apart from a shower, a shower would be pretty nice. Ah, something that I have just seen, though, is this little drawer down here. And you've got yeah, some toothbrushes. Uh, that that's what looks like a bag. Sanitary napkin. Hairbrush slash comb and you've also got razors in here as well so yeah right the lights are on now so let me give you a tour welcome to the seat on the singapore airlines airbus 350 900 medium hall plane get ready to experience unparalleled luxury and comfort in the sky each seat transforms into a fully flat bed which is perfect for a restful night's sleep on long flights You'll enjoy loads of personal space with a wide adjustable seat and a huge array of entertainment options on your own large screen, all controlled by a cool phone-like device. Not only that, you can also stay powered up with convenient in-seat power outlets. For added comfort, plush pillows and cozy blankets are provided, making your flight as relaxing as possible. The seat comes with plenty of storage for your belongings and a sleek, modern design that makes you feel like you're in a private suite. This seat was honestly so comfortable. I am absolutely buzzing to be able to get my head down on the next flight. You can see here, we are nearly in Singapore, baby. Let's get it. 
So touchdown in Singapore and that first leg of the flight, honestly so good. The chair is just so much more comfortable than like a standard seat on an aeroplane. Just feel like you got so much room. And also the staff working on there, couldn't say enough about them. They're so nice, so friendly, very, very welcome in the service. Yeah, top notch. I mean, with the kind of money that you are paying for these plane tickets to sit in business class, you would expect to get good service. But I mean, it just feels nice, you know, it just feels really good. And speaking about money, obviously this plane ticket did cost me a fair amount of money, but it actually wasn't the most expensive ticket that I could have bought, but more on that later. Yeah, so right now, I actually haven't got masses of time before the next flight. I need to go to the gate and then jump straight on the plane, I think, pretty much. But obviously currently in Singapore and I've been to this airport, so it's known as being one of the best airports in the world. So if you want to see more from around this airport and some of the amazing things that you can do here, then make sure you check out the other video that is on the channel. Hi, welcome. Hello. Nice to have you. Thank you very much. Uh, play your window seat on the other side. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah that's okay. me. Good. That's what I actually thought that the plane that was going to be on now was going to be the same as the last plane. Yeah, it's pretty comfy. I mean, this one feels a lot more roomy, to be honest. I feel like I've got a lot more space in this one. I'm not quite sure how it quite goes down into a bed because you can see down there is not like a gap or anything. So, yeah, I'm confused. I'm thinking maybe the chair kind of turns at like an angle and then my feet are then going to go down there. And of course, you know, it's not business cards without a bit of champagne again. And just when I thought I couldn't eat another bite, it was time for supper on the second leg of the flight. The appetizer was a smoked chicken salad with roasted apples and almond romesco sauce. The main course featured braised chicken in a tomato saffron sauce served with a medley of vegetables and potatoes. For dessert, we enjoyed a honey semolina cake with coconut yogurt and ginger poached pear. It was light, fluffy and simply unreal. Honestly, the dessert was a highlight as the other dishes were pretty average. With my stomach happily full, it was time for bed. I went to the bathroom to clean my teeth and when I come back my seat had been transformed into a cosy bed. The top of the seat folds down and you lay diagonally on the bed in order to make the most of the room available. Fingers crossed, get some sleep. Right, let's hit the hay. Good morning from business class in Singapore Airlines. Slept probably about eight hours which was unbelievable to be honest. Like, it's so comfy. I actually was doubting that this bed was going to be as comfy as the last plane, but it's so much more comfortable. I think the way that the seat's laid out, that it's kind of a bit of an angle. You can lay on your side and stuff like that. It just gives you a few more positions to, to sleep in, which is really, really good. So, yeah, I thoroughly enjoy being able to lay down on a plane. What an unbelievable experience. Let's have a little look outside to see what we're working with. I've got no idea how it is light. Very sunny out there. Oh, we're getting a little sunrise. Look at that. Check out this current setup. It feels like I'm having breakfast in bed. We have a lovely, lovely view outside. Beautiful. So just finished the light breakfast and it was really good. We had like loads of pastries, some muesli, yogurt, coffee, tea, obviously anything you want in business class. They've got it. So I thought whilst now the sun is out and it's a lot lighter in the area, I'm going to show you all the sea and all its functions and the room you've got available to you. Think you've seen the pinnacle of luxury in the skies? Well, buckle up because this plane is about to redefine your expectations. This A350-900 long haul version takes business class to a whole new level, making every mile of your journey feel like a plush retreat. Now this seat isn't just an upgrade, it's an absolute game changer for long flights. The spacious design and superior cushioning make it incredibly easy to catch some quality sleep. With the seat's ergonomic features, you'll wake up feeling refreshed and ready to conquer your destination. Stay connected in style with Singapore Airlines complimentary Wi-Fi. While I enjoyed smooth browsing and social media updates, streaming videos was a bit hit or miss. Still, it's a great perk for staying in touch or catching up on work. As someone who's 6 foot 3 inches tall, I was pleasantly surprised by how comfortable and how spacious this seat was. I could fully stretch out and lay down with ease. So if you're any shorter than this, you'll find even more room to stretch and relax. Once again, a huge entertainment system with a vast library of recent movies and TV shows to keep you entertained throughout your flight. The device to control system was a bit of a trip down memory lane as it really reminded me of the PSP, the handheld console by a PlayStation. The storage space, don't worry, they've got you covered. From conveniently placed compartments to spacious cubbies, you'll have all the room you need to keep your essentials within easy reach. Now, 
Let's not forget the little touches that make a big difference. On flights longer than six hours, you'll receive a stylish amenity kit from Penn Halligans of London, featuring a luxurious hand lotion, facial mist, and lip balm. Plus, enjoy eye masks, slippers, and cozy socks to make your journey even more comfortable. Overall, like, super, super comfortable. Like, for sure, like going from economy to here is just like a ridiculous jump up. In terms of the bathroom facilities, they're exactly the same on this plane as they were on the last one, which I showed you. Um, yeah, lovely and clean in there. They've got all the amenity kits in there. Like I just went and had a quick little uh, freshen up with the toothbrush and toothpaste. Had a little spray of some uh, aftershave they got in there. And yeah, just had a little freshen up as we got about an hour before we come into land now in London Gatwick. So overall, my experience on Singapore Airlines has been unbelievable i've loved every second of this whole journey like it just feels so different to being not business class like it just feels like so much smoother so much like easier just like so much more comfortable and doing a journey like i've done today for like going from australia to england obviously such a long journey and I don't know, it just makes such a difference being in this class i would say honestly that premium economy is probably not worth the extra money i would rather just kind of save a bit more money and then just go to business to be honest because the jump up from premium economy to business is just ridiculous you just feel like you've got so much more space and it's so much more comfortable just look at these unbelievable views we're coming into land so how much did this journey cost me so my ticket is a return going from perth to london and obviously all the way back in a few weeks time and all of the legs of the journey are business class and it cost me five thousand pounds but also, like I mentioned earlier, it wasn't actually the most expensive ticket available when I was booking it. The most expensive was actually a direct flight from Perth to London, and that was a little bit more expensive, like a few hundred pounds more. And it, the journey was like 18 or 19 hours, and that is just on one plane. So yeah, pretty crazy. I'm not too sure how I would feel about doing that. Thank you so much. And that is it. Touchdown in London. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and also check out the other videos that are on the channel. As you never know, they might just inspire your next trip.